It's a proper romp, isn't it? It's a proper romp. It's kind of like um, Indiana Jones meets Romance of the Stone, but it, it, what I love about it is there's a lot of procedural drama and, you know, very kind of heavy stuff to watch. This is fun, it's, and, and it's also intelligent. So mm. you actually learn stuff about Vatican papers and, and well, arche you know, archaeological stuff, too, while you're at it. So we should, we should explain, really, yeah. that uh, it's... Um, it's Lady Alexandra, who uh, who's a... Uh, Works for the British your, Museum. Your, your, your daughter. My daughter. And, adopted. And the very brash American uh, Hooten. So, yeah. uh, so they are off around the world, amazing locations. They're um, all over the world. I mean, I shot personally in Rome and uh, Cape Town and London. Lovely. But I think they were in Cambodia and Russia and goodness knows where else. And um, South Africa um, also. They were able to do a lot of other countries. So they're looking for lost treasure? Uh, he is, because he's a treasure hunter, um, obviously for money. Yep. And uh, she's going out there for the British Museum and I'm trying to arrange her wedding. Yes, you are. Your life's <laughs> interesting. All I'm this adventure is going off. You want her to come home and get married. I do. Because I'm very good at running in heels. Running, yes, three paces behind a man with a gun, usually. <laughs> in high heels. Yes. That's very yes. good. I, it's, you know, when people talk about stunts, I think that's harder than riding a horse. Yeah. Really? Well, I mean, when you're running in yeah. things, no, no, I, I mean, I really. That. It's perilous. <laughs> and, but you styled her, and you said this has happened quite a lot in your career, where you'll go into wardrobe, come out, and the director will say, hang on a minute, put, put back on what you came in in this morning. Well, that happened to me on my first film, and I did Live and Let Die. Um, I'd been shown all these beautiful, beautiful, um, you know, drawings and stuff of everything I was going to wear and everything was made in triplicate. They even made your underwear and your shoes in those days. Oh, I'm wow. crazy. No budgets for that now. Yeah. And I came on the set and Harry Saltzman looked at me and said, what the hell do you look like? And I said, I looked like you wanted me to look like. And he said, well, you look better uh, by the pool, you know, the night before. So, you know, let's look in your, in your suitcase. So nowadays, just because I hate being in that, those circumstances, I always yeah. bring with me clothes that I think my character would wear just in case the wardrobe they show up with either doesn't fit or doesn't work. And yeah. I can't tell you, at pretty much every movie and TV thing I've been on, I've ended up wearing a lot of my own. And with Hooten, you know, I brought Lady Lindo Parker's um, clothing with me. So, so <laughs> in your wardrobe, how much stuff have you got that oh would work gosh. perfectly well for someone kidnapped in Rome? Oh, yes. Well, that, that, was, that was just a twin set. That was OK. That was, <laughs> but, I, but it was an elastic -y skirt that made all the difference. Was so it? That I could get in and out. Yes, it looked like a pencil skirt, but it was... <laughs> and there it is. There is and the there it is. There's oh, yeah. me. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> are, the artefacts are real. Um, there's a lot of sort of truth, that sort of historical truth yes. with, within each of the stories. And what I really like, actually, especially now there are so many box sets that you're trying to catch up on and follow and everybody's on episode six and you're only on episode one. These are standalone. Absolutely. If you haven't seen the first one, you can watch the second one. You can watch them out of order. Mm. It's fine. I think one of the only running gags here is the fact that I'm trying to get her married in a certain frock. But otherwise, you know, they're all off all different places. All different things. There'll yeah. be lots of people watching this, and I'm sitting here and I'm yes. just looking at you because you are so incredibly beautiful. Al always oh, have been, you. but, you, I mean, how do you do it? You just <laughs> so you sort of see people now that have constantly or sort of auto-tuning pictures on Instagram and then maybe in the flesh they don't look so beautiful and let you always have done. What well, you're, you... being, you're being very kind. No, but, I'm really But I'll, I'll tell you, if you really want to know the truth, I eat normally. I happen to like fish and vegetables and chicken. I stay away from red meat, but not religiously, you know. Yeah. I, I exercise, but not absurdly. I do some gyrotonics and pilates and some light weights. Do you love a glass of wine at the end I of the day? I definitely love oh, Wine good. 30 is imperative. <laughs> <laughs> imperative. Um, and uh, I use, you know, I use... I think if you exfoliate your skin and you take your makeup off and then you use a good cream, I use some um, stuff called Crepe Erase. Not expensive. It works really well. I've never well. heard of that. Crepe Erase. Crepe Erase. Yeah, you can actually get it here. I think you have to go... It's on an infomercial. But I actually use it. Other, uh, other, they're all right here. Two other skin creams are available. But I, I, you know, I don't do all the plastic stuff, so, and I know end endlessly people go on about it. I have no problem with anyone doing anything, okay? Mm. I keep reading quotes about myself, which are so completely untrue, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Number one, anyone can do anything they want to themselves. I don't care. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I just chose not to do Botox because, as an actress, you've got to be able to yeah, express yourself. You know, and, um, and you know, when I did Wedding Crashes, obviously, I was playing a character who said, you know, I had my breasts done. So, obviously, the press said, did you do that? Oh, and, I see. And, you know, being the honest English girl I am, I said, yes, but they got the dates wrong. You know, it was 25 years ago. It was not, like, yeah, just, just for recently. the movie. 
<laughs> Duh. You know, and, and all kinds of silly stuff. But um, well, yeah. and also personally, you're in a very happy place at the moment. And there have been there have been you know sort yes. of times in the past. I, I, I've known no, I've of been to the, down in in the the depths. I mean, you know, reading the news today, and I yeah. feel really really sorry for for anyone that's going through a breakup. And I've definitely been through my share. And but I think you know if there's anything to be gained from it. Um, I think at the end of the day, you know, you become your own person. If you've loved someone for a long time, that love still is there. Mm -hmm. And the, the smart thing to do is to find a way to um, disentangle financially and try and regroup emotionally and make sure that the kids are okay. That's the number Most one thing. Things. You know, once your parents, your parents for life, which means that your your partner's for life. Yeah. You can't cut that off. But you no. know Hollywood really well, yeah. and you've seen the fallout. I mean, we all know the couple that we're talking about. You've mm. seen the, the the papers this morning and the fallout. Mm. Is there any way they can get through this and still be mates at the end of it? Do you think? Be, be what at the end? Friends of it? at the end. Friends? Of it. Mm. I don't know because everyone's different. I mean, I, I uniquely am friends with all my exes. Mm. Um, it is quite not unique, always yeah. so much friends with the person they ran off with, though. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on that here. one. <laughs> I just can't. can't. Work in progress. <laughs> For more of the same, just click here. Did you initiate R. Patrick into Britain? Did you, was there any initiations okay, on the set? We can't, yes, well, it's embargoed. You can't really discuss the hazing um, and the, in, the initiation yes. ceremony. It's yes. Just, it's, the, it's a dark Masonic. <laughs> Were, um, they, were they tough, Patrick? That's all I want to know. Uh, it was what I needed to have at that time in my mm. life.